We're at the Snake River Valley, and this is Yukon at 20. Now, without headlights, you can see how dense this is. And I just caution you to make sure that you are on the right path. Make sure you take the right exit, and you're not going the wrong way down the interstate, and that you keep those low beams on, and you give yourself plenty of room. Make sure your headlights are on as well. We'll have areas of freezing fog, flurries from the fog this morning, and winds uh, will be very light. There's the area of which I'm speaking, which is all about the dense fog and uh, very thick conditions. And some of that may freeze on the windshield as well. And you're going to see some flurries that may pop out of it uh, too. So zero visibility. It's very hard to see uh, 10, 20 feet in front of you in those locations. And that does ride the I-15 corridor there all the way uh, into Pocatello and uh, some areas east and west of the interstate too with some dense fog this morning. Pocatello is at 26 degrees. We have fog registering at the airport. It feels like it's about 20. This is a live look at 15 there. It doesn't look quite as dense as it does in Idaho Falls. This morning we're beginning below freezing, so anything that is moisture could freeze on your windshield. It'll be 22 in IP when you stick your head out the door, 33 in Jackson, and 30 in Salmon. So some of these mountain communities, the temperatures are inverted because of uh, the high pressure that's here. Uh, and it feels like about 19 in Chalice and about 21 in Mackey, about 17 in Driggs, and 21 there in Idaho Falls. So satellite uh, has that high pressure over the top of us. We'll see these foggy conditions, <coughs> pardon me, and cloudy until we get that separation into the afternoon with the sun poking through. Now, some of the lower lying areas will still have some of those low, low clouds into lunchtime, and we're seeing just a spry chance uh, of a, well, a slight chance of a spry shower here into western Wyoming that we talked about. But mainly that high pressure is keeping all that moisture uh, out of our way, and we sure could use some snow around here. There's not going to be much to contend with in terms of that. Now, tomorrow morning it may be foggy as well as we get started. Those temperature inversions tend to relax, and we'll find get back to more normal like highs and lows where we're freezing in the daytime and the temperature drops and it feels cold at night around here today 32 whereas we're starting off in the 20s this morning tonight we will be down to the single digits so it begins to feel more like a normal forecast 27 in Afton 2 tonight it'll be 33 in Montpelier will be into the single digits for the evening you get into the upper highlands and they are still a part of that dense fog advisory this morning it'll be 29 in Jackson 33 in Driggs will be right around freezing for St. Anthony and into Rexburg and some single digit lows even below zero into the parks. And then we see that inversion where there's a little more that warm air caught in our area right around 40 degrees into salmon and chalice and then you open up the valley and we're down to around freezing for the afternoon as you get low. That's a new uh, TikTok. Isn't, it? isn't that a challenge? The squat. Sure we'll be doing one. These Certainly are the temperatures are. tonight. How low can yes. you go? Yes, well, we can bottom out here and keep going. <laughs> uh, potato seller style. 32 in Rigby for the afternoon and 7. It'll be 35. I think I ripped my britches. 35 in Pocatello and 15 for tonight's low. We're going to be right around freezing as we get into tomorrow and some partly sunny conditions into Blackfoot. In Salmon, it's going to be warmer than most, right around 40 and some sun will cloud up just a little bit. It'll be 42 on in Sunday and then about to 43 with a just a slight chance of a shower. We can't seem to convince Mother Nature to give us any more snow. It's going to be in the lower 30s right around freezing into Rexburg. We'll begin with that fog though, but I'm expecting sunshine shine a little bit later on to shine through and we'll be in the upper 30s by the end of the weekend. Jackson, it'll be 27 today and partly sunny. More sunshine taking us into the mid to lower 30s for the weekend and pretty decent opportunity for some snow with that west, you know, that easterly uh, pushing system over there into western Wyoming. Pocatello will be 35 today and you'll have some cloudiness around which will linger. I'm expecting the sun later on in Idaho Falls. Yeah, I know. Hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah, it's like we fired it and told it to go home. It'll be back 32 and it'll be 12 tonight and freezing will be right there in the mid 30s for Sunday and into Monday. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you so much, Jeff. We'll hopefully get